Mimi. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. I am joined with my husband Eric today and we are going to be going over the seven places you need to eat at when you're visiting Provo, Utah. So if you're new to my channel, hello again. My name is Mimi and I make content all about LDS culture, doctrine, and news with a little bit about our lives. And in this video, we really wanted to go into depth on the places you need to visit in Provo. Um, when we travel, we always like to go to the best food spots wherever we go. I mean, what else do you do on vacation besides <laughs> find the best spot to eat? So we wanted to compile a list of the seven best places to eat while you're here. So some of them are super obvious, some of them are kind of underrated. So hope you guys enjoy and let us know what your favorites are. Okay everyone, the first place that you have to eat at if you are visiting the Provo area is Mo Betta's. So Mo Betta's is a Hawaiian food place and I believe the owners are actually from Hawaii and I love Hawaiian food, you guys, it is so good. So our two favorite meats to get there are Terry beef and Terry chicken. So basically what you do when you go there is you choose your meat and then you get rice and mac salad with it and it is super good authentic Hawaiian food. Eric's actually gonna tell us too about this special deal that we do to get a good bang for our buck. So Mimi doesn't eat a ton, so she usually gets their, um, I think it's a cakey size. I so, don't think I get the kid size. Or they might call it mini like there, mini. I forget. Yeah. Um, but it's, hers just comes with meat and a scoop of mac salad or a scoop of rice, I think, and that's like it. Um, versus like the normal meal is more like a meat with two scoops and some stuff going on there. What we actually get instead, it's called the Ecolu Special. I don't know how to pronounce it, but uh, basically, instead you get three meats, three scoops of white rice, and two scoops of macaroni salad. It's a lot cheaper, like I feel like it saves you a couple bucks than us giving two separate meals and I end up with a little bit more food too. Yeah. So you can see here is the terry beef and the terry chicken. There's the mac salad as well, which is so good. If you've never tried it, you have to. And then rice, so. Obviously a lot of food, super delicious. I feel like this is one of the more underrated places in Provo, so go check them out. The second place that you need to at if you are visiting Provo, Utah is of course Costa Vida or Cafe Rio. I feel like they're pretty interchangeable. Some people have strong opinions. We do not. I feel like most people like Cafe Rio better. It's a bigger name, but Costa Vida is slightly cheaper and they don't charge you to smother it with sauce. So it's the way to go. Another reason we usually go to Costa Vida instead of Cafe Rio is because you can get a small salad at Costa Vida and at Cafe Rio they only have the normal one size salad. They're very well known for their sweet pork. Um, that's like their most famous famous dish is anything with the sweet pork in it. So basically what you do is you choose a meat and you choose a type of entree. Um, and we'll show you what it's like when we get in there, but it is literally one of the most famous places in Utah to eat at. Hi. Can I get a small sweet pork salad? Yes, please. Black beans? All right, so we got our meals. I got a small sweet pork salad and I really like the vinaigrette dressing. The ranch is still pretty good, but I really like the vinaigrette. And then Eric got the famous sweet pork burrito. So clearly this is not the healthiest salad, but I really, really like it. And then here is the burrito. It's huge and it is amazing. All right, everyone. The third place you need to go eat at if you're in Provo is, of course, so delicious. So I know this isn't a restaurant, but this is a go-to if you are in Utah County, okay? We have soda shops. I don't care if it's so delicious, swig, sippin', fizz, you name it, we've got it on every corner. So in Utah, we don't drink a lot of coffee and this is definitely the replacement. Basically, at these different soda places, I'm in line, because there's a drive-thru, just like a coffee place, but um, basically they have all different types of soda and they do mix-ins. So like, I'll try to get a, a close-up of the menu, but I usually get a Diet Coke with like raspberry and vanilla um, and they mix it and it's so good. And they also have a lot of cookies and different treats as well. So I'm here at So Delicious. Personally, I don't have a favorite 
soda shop. I think they're all the same. Um, but I'm here at So Delicious today. I'm going to get a drink and a cookie. So, can't wait. So this is the menu. I don't know if you can really see. And there's always such a long line. Luckily, I've moved up a bit, but there were about six cars when I got here. Okay, so we just got home and I thought I'd tell you what we got. So mine, I got a small, which is 16 ounces, and I got the Southern Gentleman, which is Dr. Pepper, peach, and vanilla. But I switched out the Dr. Pepper for Diet Coke, um, which is what I usually do because they have some drinks that come with Diet Coke, but I don't like them as much. So any soda, you can kind of just switch around. So super good. Uh, mine, I never had this one before. It's called Follow the Flag, I think. So it's 7-Up with... Uh... I'm pretty sure it's blue raspberry and coconut, if I remember right. It's, it's like good. bright blue. You like it? Whoa. Like a little kid's dream. Yeah, no, I feel like I just like blue drinks. <laughs> <laughs> and then, but that's not all we got. We also got, I put it on a plate, just the classic pink sugar cookie. Super yummy. Um, it's just like a chilled sugar cookie. So that's just like the classic. Okay, so the fourth place you guys have to check out if you're in the Provo area is Golden Thai. It is yes. super good. Um, we've been trying a lot of different Thai food places around here because mm -hmm. we really like Thai food, but I feel like they've all been just pretty good. They're good enough that you go there, but not that you love it. Mm -hmm. um, but we just found this place recently actually called Golden Thai, which mm -hmm. we love. It is awesome. So this one is located in Orem, right by the Cinemark Theater, kind of by the mall. Um, but if you're coming from Provo, really not too far, definitely worth the drive. This time is kind of boring. We both got the same thing. Mm, but it's so good. Yeah, it's this so is good. Patsy you with beef in it. Mm -hmm. And um, one thing to know is that from people I've talked to, they kind of run hot with uh, their spice. The usually, spice I get, level. So usually I get like a medium um, mm -hmm. when I go get Thai food or anything. But um, last time I got some curry and I got the medium and it was kind of on the hot end, hotter than I'd like it normally, so um, this time I went a little bit weaker, um, but just keep that in mind. Yep, but super good, we definitely recommend it. Also really affordable too, so yeah, good date night. Okay, if you love street tacos, the next place that you definitely need to visit when you're in Provo is called Kulichi Kitchen. So I am a huge fan of Mexican food and we have searched far and wide for the best street tacos in Utah County and we finally found them here. They're so delicious. My favorite is carne asada as always, but all of their meats are really good. So we're gonna show you what we got. Here we are. Seriously you guys, to die for. They also have quesadillas that are also amazing. Yeah, their quesadilla is basically a giant taco with a whole bunch of melted cheese in it, so it's super good. I usually get that, but we're gonna be going climbing soon, and I figured it's better not to have all that cheese. <laughs> the pro tip, if you're not doing this yet, totally make sure you're always putting the onions on your tacos, as well as a little bit of lime on there. Really sets it apart. And also, no hate on Don Joaquin. It's also super good, so mm -hmm. you wanna check them out too. Definitely yeah, awesome they're good. taco. Yeah. All right, the sixth place that you need to eat at when you're visiting Provo is, again, not a restaurant, but it is crumble cookies. This is like the most Utah thing <laughs> that you can get, and it is a cookie delivery service. And crumble is actually just the one of many different cookie or dessert delivery services that Utah has to offer. Crumble is our personal favorite just because each week they have four new flavors that they release, whereas places like Chip, I think they just have one specialty flavor a month. Yeah. Crumble is super good, and it's so funny because these cookie delivery places are actually open like all hours of the night, so it's perfect if you need a late night treat. I, I feel like it's rare if you come to our apartment and there's not an empty crumble box like sitting next to our trash can, because we get them all the time because they have new flavors, so we're gonna show you what flavors we got this week, but just know the traditional chocolate chip and sugar cookies are also super good. Can't go wrong with those either. Also, if you go pick it up at their location, then you don't have to worry about a delivery fee, and sometimes it can take like 45 minutes to show up, so if you really want yeah. cookies, you just drive down there and get them. Yeah, and when you get it in person, you can customize your box, True. so if there's one flavor that you really like, you can get two of them. The boxes come with four. All right, so here is what we have. This is the cinnamon roll cookie, which they've actually had before and we love, so we're really excited about that one. 
Um, it's St. Patrick's Day soon right now, so we have this green M&M. We're not sure if they're mint M&Ms or just should green. should just be normal green M&Ms. Okay. Not mint. This one we have not tried before. It's Rocky Road. I'm so excited. So I love Rocky like... Road ice cream. And then, oh my gosh, this is the one I've truly been waiting for. It is salted caramel cheesecake, you guys. Um, I'm so excited. I love salted caramel and cheesecake. And just to show you, these are really big. It'll take us like a week to go through <laughs> all four cookies. All right, and then the last place that we have for you guys we saved the best for last. It is um, our favorite restaurant in Provo, actually, and it is Bombay House, which is a super awesome Indian restaurant. We always get the same thing. I know it's really lame. My friends always tell me we should branch out and get different stuff, but both of us get chicken tikka masala. Uh, it comes with rice there, and then we each got some garlic naan there. It is amazing, by the way. Don't ever skip out on the garlic naan. It makes a huge difference. I never really had Indian food before until um, until recently, actually, and then Bombay House is what made me fall in love with it. So, um, really love this here. You can't go wrong at Bombay House. I have friends who get pretty much everything on the menu and say it's all super good, um, but definitely a place you have to go if you're here in the area. And then honorable mention has to go out to also a restaurant called Maria Bonita's. It is a super awesome Mexican restaurant, but it's kind of more mid North Orem area. So it's a little bit out of the way. They're super good. They have huge portions though, just to like let you know, huge portions. So it costs a little bit more, but it's cause you're getting a ton of food. So it works out. Oh man, <laughs> eating all of that in 10 minutes was a real pain as you can tell from having one outfit throughout the whole video, but we're glad we can do it for you. Let us know what food place you definitely want to eat that we covered in this video. And if you have any other suggestions that we left off the list, leave them in the comments below. Before you go, we want to give a quick shout out to our Sunflower Squad member of the week. And this week, our shout out. Wow. I need to film with you more often. This is so fun. This week, our shout out is going to Taylor Dalton also known as TD Cameraman here on Instagram. So it looks like Taylor is actual, actually a local photographer here in Utah. Guys, his pictures are so stunning. I absolutely love them. There's a lot of like lifestyle shots. Did you just throw that on the ground? Try to set it down. I caught it my foot. All right, go check out his profile if you like following like really cool pictures like outdoorsy landscape that kind yeah. of thing. yeah and taylor thank you so much for following along with us and being a part of the sunflower squad if you would like to be featured in next week's video and be a part of the sunflower squad yourself all you have to do is three things first subscribe to my channel second hit the notification bell third comment down below with your instagram handle and a sunflower emoji so i know that you're part of the squad and i can give you a shout out in next week's video thank you guys again so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one bye yeah.